Come here, buddy. You're not getting away. There we go. <laughs> you can see that there's Dr. Brush. Can I get him? Yeah. Brush versus Brush. The original prevails. I think we've got this one. There we go. Get him. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's Adam, a.k.a. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. Today, we're trying out another weapon from Sheldon's Picks. The new set's added in the big 2.7 update, and this time, it's the permanent ink brush, the one I have been looking forward to the most. So let's get out there and crack some squids. Okay, so first things first, we have to address this. A lot of players have been complaining. The big, great zapfish in the room, the permanent ink brush. Any ink that you lay down with this weapon is permanent, like the name suggests. So players cannot overwrite any ink you lay down. Now, this is something that'll probably be addressed in another update. It's a big controversial change, but the big thing to remember is that it's not true. And I'm joking, so don't worry about that. No. The name is, is a fun little pun, but definitely, you know, that would be way too overpowered to have a set where you couldn't get rid of the ink. But the, the permanent ink brush, I'm still excited to try this out because it seems to blend some of the better features or the features that I like from some of the other brush sets. So our sub weapon, the Splat Bomb, is from the Octo Brush Nouveau set. And I like the Splat Bombs a lot because you can kind of throw them in there and with the brushes, use them to root the players to where you need them to go and then get that brush splat. So you can throw one behind someone, drive them forward, and then hit them in the brush where they uh, least expect it. And then the special is the Kraken, and that's from the original Octobrush set. And the, the thing with the Kraken, you know, you got it as that defensive measure, but it also can be pretty aggressive and helps you survive from a lot of situations if you're gonna get splatted. And I think that happens a lot with the brushes because you have to go all in, you have to get close if you wanna get those splats with a brush because the range is so limited, but having the cracking can definitely get you out of those sticky situations. So uh, so yeah, I think this is a nice blend. I think a lot of players probably prefer the Octobrush Nouveau because of the Ink Zuka. You get that added range and, uh, and damage to get more splats, but I love the Kraken. I've always loved it since the first little preview of it. I've really liked it. Now, the Ink Brush, not as powerful as the Octobrush. It's a little faster, so you're gonna really need to have your trigger flicking speed, you know, you're gonna be able to tap that trigger real fast if you wanna use this set. But unlike the Octobrush, it is a bit faster, so that's something I'm gonna have to get used to, but it is a nice benefit of using this over the Octobrush. You don't get as much damage, but you can escape from a lot of situations by rolling around at the speed of sound and just getting out of there. And that's something I've been trying to work more into my, my play style to get away from stuff. If I know I'm not gonna get out of a situation, I'll just roll away. Even with the Octobrush, it's pretty quick, but with the Ink Brush, there's no other weapon that'll get you out of there faster than this little brush here. So yeah, there we go, I threw a bomb there. <laughs> tried to, trying to kind of scare him away from the zone and also cover it a little bit, but that worked out okay. I just gotta get, really gotta get used to the uh, the tapping speed of this thing. I think that was the Octobrush. Brush. So we got an Octobrush Brush on the enemy team. We'll see how we match up against them. Our Kraken's definitely gonna help us here. Oh, or not, see, we can zip away. We'll be all right, we just have to really tap, tap, tap. There's that charger. Come here, buddy, you're not getting away. There we go. <laughs> You can see that there's Dr. Brush. Can I get him? Yeah! Brush versus brush, the original prevails. But yeah, you can see I'm using my my damage up set. I've got two damage up, or one damage up main and three damage up subs. So basically the equivalent of two damage up mains. I can't reach him up there. This isn't a laggy enough match to, uh, there's no lag that I notice. But sometimes online you can hit people in weird spots like on ledges with the Kraken. But yeah, the, the two damage up main equivalent is what I see a lot of people recommend on the Octobrush to get that damage up and get the splats a little faster. And I think you could probably put even more on the Ink Brush to help you out. But this is what I'm going with. It's working okay so far. Still seems to take a, a good amount of flicks to take down an enemy Inkling, but not too bad. I think if you're, you're playing your cards right and really maneuvering where you need to be at the right time, you can still get people without them. There we go. That was like five or six flicks, I guess. Just playing defensively, you always want to have the drop on people when you're using a brush. And it looks like this was a really good first match for this new set. I'm already really enjoying it, and you know, we might have gone up against a team that wasn't quite as strong as the one that I ended up on, but we'll see. The splats to sploops ratio here. Kills to death. <laughs> I just like using sploops instead of death. Sounds good with splats to me. And let's see, how did we do? I don't think I died that whole time. Yeah, eight splats, zero sploops. 
Couldn't ask for a better first match with this thing. All right, let's play some more. I'm enjoying it so far, and I don't even miss my Octobrush. All right, heading to Mahi Mahi Resort. This one has some great straightaways to get to the zone where the Inkbrush can really excel at zipping through, making a little path for your buddies as well. And if you notice, the permanent Inkbrush is red. The handle is red rather than the blue of the other Inkbrushes. They didn't go too crazy with the design on this one. You look at like the Soda Slosher and and the Berry Splattershot Pro and some of the others that are really crazy colors. You'd think that the art-related ink brush, you know, the big paintbrush would have a crazy pattern, but I'm kind of glad they, they held back a little bit. Now, this is my favorite spot. You guys saw in the, the Tempered Dynamo Roller episode last time, if you watched that. I like to hide up here and drop some bombs, or, you know, this brush can cover most of the zone from up here and ink so fast. Also, I can throw a bomb in there. He jumped away, though. I saw him. Oh, we got a mix of colors. I, I'm okay, okay. I was a little worried about that. They both had like a synchronized ink strike. That was beautiful. Purple and yellow combined. There's so many ink strikes. A few of the sets have ink strikes, I believe. At least the uh, at least the Wasabi Splatter Shot, which is really popular now. That's the new set. You know, we already have the Tent Attack and the Octo Shot that were all over the place in ranked mode, but now everyone's got. There are wasabis that look awesome to throw out as well. No, no, no. Oof, it almost pushed me right off. I'm going to eat some of these suction bombs if I can. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Too quick for my own good, I guess. I went right into the water. We'll redeem ourselves. I can jet back over, throw that bomb down. All right. We've got different paths to take. I like that there's multiple little things because I can really start to build up my special again. And this new ink brush, like the other two ink brushes and the two octo brushes out so far, has light special depletion. So we're only going to lose 40% of our uh, of our special when we respawn. So not as big of a hit. It was kind of a minor buff for a lot of the weapons. And if you did miss any of the 2.7 updates, I went over all of them in a couple videos a few back. We played with the Wasabi Splatter Shot that I just mentioned in the Berry Splatter Shot Pro and talked about all the changes. So the brushes did get a little bit of a buff, even though they weren't really touched balance-wise. But the permanent ink brush, I don't think it, it doesn't seem like it really needs it. I could have gone after that guy, but oh, there we go. <laughs> Traded, but we got him. I could have gone after that guy on the grate and did the really cool super jump thing. That's a technique I've seen from some pro players. They, uh, they crack in and someone will hide on a grate like that or with the little ropes on, on Camp Triggerfish thinking they're safe because the Kraken would fall straight through. But all you do is you jump in and quickly super jump immediately as you're jumping in. If you're lucky, you'll hit them and destroy them in the air when you're flying into that, that grate, and then you'll super jump away before you can fall through. So it's a really baller move <laughs> that looks awesome, but I've never been able to pull it off. I have to practice that. That's another one like the like the beacon flicks where you jump up with the with a beacon, usually with the crack on splat roller, and then jump back down and get people on perches and stuff. Lots of cool techniques that I need to practice here. These splatlings are sitting ducks to the kraken. They're all just prey. I can't. <laughs> I was gonna try to get up there, but that didn't work out. I ran up. I, the kraken is so mean and cool looking that it's really funny when it just like sploops down the side of a a wall or whatever. Oh, there we go. Keep getting that splatling. They, they're running right in. And I'm gonna root that guy there. There we are. I don't know if they even saw my splat bomb, but that's ba basically what I was talking about. Throw a splat bomb where you want the players to leave and trap between a bomb and a hard place. There we go. Oh, gotta be careful. Bombs all over the place. That guy's gonna get me. See, this is when I want to back off and just jump away. The better way to go. I was turning pretty yellow there. And I, I did. I turned tail and went yellow by uh, by running away. But that's all right. Sometimes you gotta do that. All right. Let's see if we can get someone with one of these little. That's because I mentioned that's my favorite spot to hide, and I know a lot of people use that area. But you are so vulnerable to someone just throwing a bomb over your head, and by the time it lands, it's almost ready to explode. So you might not know that they're using it. Oh jeez. Uh, nope. Ah, tried to super jump away. That's the big problem. I need to be using my my brush to get in close, just kind of rolling my way closer to them because if you are anywhere near or away from optimal range with this thing, you're just not gonna not gonna get the splat. Someone's trying to get into my porridge over here. All right, let me see. So many ink strikes. I, I want to go back and like count the ink strikes after this or something, but they're all over the place. Whatever special is the most popular 
after an update. You, you see it so many times because everyone's trying out the new weapons and stuff. So I think next time we're going to try the Soda Slosher. We'll maybe do one more match after this because I'm really enjoying the permanent ink brush. But the Soda Slosher is the other <laughs> weapon that I'm really looking forward to trying. And uh, But we'll get to the other ones as well. We got the refurbished mini splatling. The new bamboozler looks pretty good. Jeez. I did manage to get over that wall with the Kraken, and that was that was what I was trying earlier, so I'm happy for that. All right, we've got a few seconds left in overtime, but a nice view of the map as we do a little victory jump. Mahi is, it's so weird, I always forget we're in this giant pool as jellyfish lounge around us and watch. It, it's got a really cool design, and the, the vibrant colors definitely suit this little world. There we go, nine to four. Good ratio there, decent at least. Let's, uh, let's do one more match, like I mentioned, and we'll finish up with a permanent ink brush. Okay, back on Mahi, we got that nice color of green that I love. But yeah, there's like a whole hotel and stuff on this map, I always forget. I get so focused on what's actually happening that sometimes I neglect all the background details. And there's a little life lesson from Splatoon. You don't want to focus on the finger pointing to the moon or you'll or you miss the heavenly glory of the moon. <laughs> That's a Bruce Lee quote. All right. So let's get in here. Yeah, the green, this is crazy, like, eye painful green, but I love it. I don't know. The, the Nickelodeon slime colors of this game have just always been great. It de it's definitely easy to tell them apart. I'll give it that. It's, uh, they made it really good with the contrast, even if eventually this is probably a game that could get really tiring for people if you're, if you're staring at it too long. But I've, I've never really had a problem with it. I, I could play for hours and still enjoy it, and having these new weapons has definitely made me come back into the game and, and want to get better again and, and try. I'm, I'm definitely getting my rank up here. We're, we're getting close to A+. Plus. Then who knows if we can make S, but that's my goal. I might even be using this a little more in rank, especially with Splat Zones. I'm having fun with this. Kraken's all over the shop. <laughs> Let's see if I can get someone. I just saw someone. Oh, they're, they're going that way. Oh, where'd they go? Jeez. Yeah, trying to make sense of, uh, of where people are hiding sometimes can get crazy, but Bomb Sniffer has been very helpful. I definitely recommend that if you're not using it or you haven't tried it out. I know a few of the other abilities are still very useful. Ink Resistance can help you when you're trying to swim around because you don't get stopped as easily in the enemy ink, and and uh, some of the other ones will keep you alive. But, ooh, geez. man, this guy's getting way up in our base. That jerk, there's the wasabi ever popular now with the update. But yeah, Bomb Sniffer, it just, with all the frantic stuff happening in this game, it, it takes uh, a little bit of ease off of uh, off of the play session. It definitely helps out with trying to make sure you are aware of stuff. When you see that little squid skull pop up, it gives you a nice uh, area to, to know not to be in. So it's helpful for sure. I, I don't know if I would use it if they didn't give it that buff of damage resistance from the bombs, though, even though it is helpful. But it, it definitely helps if you're trying to do other stuff. Most of you are probably just focusing on the game, but if you're trying to talk and play, it can get a little a little tough to focus, you know, half your brain on one and half on the other. So I always feel like I've got a little bit of a handicap going when we're playing on video, but doing my best here. Where'd he go? Somebody got him. Okay, <laughs> I saw him explode. At least I chased him into enemy fire, even if it's not another splat for my splat, you know, tally. <laughs> it's still nice to, uh, to make sure my team's doing good. That's what really matters to rank up. It's the team that gets the win, not the player. Oh, although th with only four people on a team, it does really feel like one good player or one bad player can really make the difference. Oh, Kraken battle. They're about to turn back, though, if they're going to hide. Go right into my bombs. Where'd they go? Come here, buddy. Can't escape me. Somebody got him. Okay. There we go. They got the zone back, but we have this huge deficit to make up, but we are so close to victory. I think we've got this one. There we go. Get him. Yeah. I did not think I, if their aim was a little better, I wouldn't have made it out of that situation. <laughs> but getting back into that tapping speed, getting back into the brush. Thank you guys for watching. I think we're going to be done here in just a second after we mop the floor with a few more squids. There we go. Man, these bombs are really helping that stealthy brush style where you hide and just launch a bomb into the right spot at the right time and take them out. And without losing as much of your tank, you know, you don't need as much of your tank to use the ink brush. I think this works a little better than the octo brush with the splat bombs, at least for me. What do you guys think of the permanent ink brush? Are you 
enjoying it, trying it out, or is it fun to watch at least? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any uh, you know suggestions. I'm trying to get better at the game. I want to be an S ranker. That's my goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a few more of Sheldon's picks to cover, and then also another volume on the way in the future. So we'll see that soon. Thank you guys, and please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for some more Splatoon. Goodbye.